Okay, Groot. We're getting there. Okay, we're getting to the location we need to see if we can reassemble the new Guardians. Now, when we get there, don't break any of the rules that we have to follow, okay? I am Groot. Good. Very good. Oh, I think we're getting there now. I am Groot. Hang on, this is gonna be a rough landing. <laughs> Groot! <sighs> there, I saved you. Now you're not gonna go off into hyperspace. Just don't do that again, okay? I, I am Groot. Oh, yeah, and if I wasn't careful, I probably would have fallen out, too. All right, let's just get there. Oh, I think we're all right there. Time to land. Okay, Groot, we're at our location. All right, let's knock on that house over there and see if they'll let us, or if they want to, yeah, if they want to be new guardians to defend the galaxy from the Space Conqueror, okay? I am Groot. Okay, good. Let's go in. Guys, check out my Marvel movie and video game collection. I've got so much stuff, as you can tell. I've got Spider-Man Miles Morales, Marvel Avengers, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and the best movie ever made, Spider-Man No Way Home. How do you guys feel about that? Ah, uh, I don't know, George. These movies seem kind of let. I think it's one of the best collections ever. However, it's not the biggest, because the only Marvel stuff we have on DVD and video games for PS5 are Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians Volume 2, and Spider-Man No Way Home. But it's a good collection, not gonna lie, because some of these are pretty good movies. Like, uh, Volume 2. Volume 2 was really good. However, it had Mr. Blue Sky in it, and that was also in the Mario movie, so I guess that's just Chris Pratt's favorite song. Oh, and let's not forget Spider-Man No Way Home. I didn't see it in theaters, but when we got it on DVD, oh wow, that was one of the best movies ever. They brought all the OG Spider-Men back. I know, Steven, they brought back Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. I mean, Andrew Garfield would be one thing, but Tobey Maguire too? Wow, that was such a good movie. Oh, wow. Why can't, you know, why can't movies always just be like this? Like, this movie right here proved, like, this movie proves, like, this is how you do a movie. Yeah, and, uh, George, someone's at the door, and I think I just killed Oscar. Can you go get the door? Oh, your fat butt was on my face, Steven. Oh, yeah, 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 Let me go get the door. Go answer the door. Go answer the door. Okay. Well, and wait. What? Ugh. Man, it took him forever to answer the door, so I just decided to let myself in. And, whoa. Hey. Hope you didn't mind me coming in. I just needed to ask you a very important question. Well, it took you forever to open your door over there, so I just decided to come in with my buddy Groot. So, can we talk? Uh, yeah, sure, and I didn't even know you were real, but come on in. Come downstairs, I want to show you something. Uh, okay. So, George, who was at the door? What? Wait a minute. Rocket Raccoon and Groot? What are they doing here? Oscar, don't call him that. Did you just call me a raccoon? I'll have you know I'm an alien. Fun fact, well, I was a raccoon, but whatever. I am Groot. Oh, yeah, I haven't watched a Marvel movie in a long time. I forgot he doesn't like being called out. But, hey, I'm excited for your new movie. 
A movie? What are you talking about? All my adventures are real. And whoa, what is this? And who's that incredibly handsome raccoon alien? Me? I am Groot. Groot, Groot, Groot. I get Groot. Oh, uh. Forget that movie ever existed. And forget this game. And forget this game and forget this game but keep this this is this is the best movie ever made <sighs> masterpiece anyway why did you guys come here okay first of all I want to know about this movie tell me about it like what is it and it's the sequel what is it like a second adventure and what happens to me in it Oh, well, it's that movie. It's a movie where and your thing is like these people kidnap you and Groot and they make you guys wear outfits. <laughs> and they also have this random blue guy right here. And when you guys told Groot to go like, get something, he instead got this guy's underwear. I remember that scene from the movie. So they turned superheroes' lives into movies, huh? Yeah, I guess so. And they get very popular celebrities to voice them. Like, seriously, of all people to voice Star Wars, they chose Chris Pratt? Anyway, 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 that's not why we're here. We're here to tell you guys something very important. Well, what's so very important you have to tell us, Mr. Rocket and Mr. Groot? Look. There's a space conqueror going around in the galaxy, conquering the galaxy. And we are asking you guys if you want to join the Guardians to help us take down the space invader. Or the galaxy conqueror, or whatever his name is. <laughs> space invaders, I love that game, like Pac-Man. Well, why don't you just get the other Guardians to do it? They all quit! Or I think the other two died, but I know our leader quit. And now he's being a fat Italian plumber from Brooklyn, going for pipes, and being a princess lover, and saving the world from a giant Bowser turtle guy. Are you talking about Mario? That's not important. Do you want to join our team or not? Uh, sure. Why not? I guess we could go save the galaxy. It'll give us something to do. All right, who can I be? Well, you can't be me or Groot, that's for sure. Okay, uh, I want to be Chris Pratt. Who now? Chris Pratt. Oh, I mean, uh, Star Lord. Yeah, I want to be Star Lord. Okay, who's next? Hmm, who do I want to be? Do I want to be the old blue man? Or do I want to be the shirtless gray man? This guy's stronger. I want to be the gray man. Who is the gray man? Oh, I mean, uh, George, what's the gray guy's name? Uh, Dave Bautista. No, the character! Oh, Drax. Okay, I want to be Drax, I guess. It sounds like a character from Magic the Gathering. Okay, and Oscar over there, whatever your name is. I just assume your name is Oscar because you look like Oscar. You got to be the girl. Yeah, you got to be the girl. Oh, come on, I have to be the girl! You're a girl now. Ha 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 You'll regret this.
I'd say that we are ready. Yeah, now we are ready to head to the spaceship. Wait a minute, spaceship? Spaceship! All right, here it is, the spaceship. What are you doing? Don't just stand there and come on in. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, what planet are we going to? We are going to the planet Bleep Bloop. Huh, I've never been to the planet Bleep Bloop before, but I haven't flown to any planet, not even Earth. But you live on Earth. Oh yeah, I forgot I lived on Earth. Where did you think you lived? Uh, what planet does Ghidorah live on? Doesn't matter. What matters is that we should be going. So in three, two, one, blast off! Three hours later. <sighs> okay, we are now on Great Blue. Okay, so like, when do we get out of the spaceship? Right now. So, Rocket Raccoon, what exactly is our goal? <sighs> I already told you, our goal is to defeat the Space Conqueror. Okay, now, let's go. Ow. Uh, what are you waiting for, guys? Let's go. Well, I guess you could say we're ordering this mission to go. Does anyone like that joke? Does anyone get it? No? Am I not funny? <sighs> okay. You know, by this point, I think we're going to have to go on a big adventure if we want to find the Space Conqueror. Because Bleep Bloop is huge! Yeah, so prepare for adventure and well, well, well. Guess it was a little short-lived adventure. Well, if it isn't Rocket Raccoon and his new Guardians of the Galaxy, then not even your new ones will win this fight. Uh, who is that? That right there is the Space Conqueror. You know, I honestly thought you would look cooler like you were going to be like Gigan or King Ghidorah or something. Or Thanos. Or Jason. Or better yet, uh, Santa Claus. Not a weak little dog. Well, you know the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. That's me. <sighs> Whatever. I say we attack. Yeah! He's right. Ah! <laughs> Secretary. Mr. Burr, sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claremont Street? Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer Legacy is secure. Sure. All he had to do was die. And yeah, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. Huh. Now how you gonna get your debt plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk left. Gamora and Drax. What did I do to them? What did I do to them? The way you killed them is not appropriate to explain on YouTube. Let's just say execution. 
Anyway, yeah, I'd say it's about time I shoot you with my gun and then make your corpse fly through space forever and ever. Uh, we don't have to do that now. We, we don't have to do that now. You know what? Uh, so, like, do we do exactly that? Yes. Yes, we do. Crap.